We've heard the old saying many times, third time's a charm. And that was exactly the case for the Bemidji boys basketball team on Saturday. After falling in the semifinals the last two years, the Lumberjacks will play for the Section 8 4 a championship off after upsetting number two seed Rogers. As we look at Saturday's highlights at St. Cloud State, this was a close game throughout. Kerry Woods got off to a great start here from the top of the key. Going to drain the three-pointer. He had 11 points in the first half. Jacks up three. The biggest lead in the game was just four points. J.C. Cervenka from the near side. All twine on that one. Big three-pointer. Jacks up one. They were down 22-20 to at halftime. Second half, center Connor Sullivan had some big offensive rebounds for the Jacks. Here's one of them. Going to put it back in. Jacks up one. Bemidji's defense was solid the entire game, holding, holding Rogers big men in the game. Kerry Woods gets the big steal right here and we've seen him do this before. Two-handed jam. We're tied at 35 with 6.30 to go and it would stay that way for more than three minutes until Mitch Brown unties it with this long three-pointer. Jacks up three. Three seconds left in the game. Bemidji up 44 to 41. Rogers Austin Barbalin has a good look to tie it but it doesn't fall. Jacks hold on to win by a final score of 44 to 41. So much back and forth in this one but like we said for the Jacks, third time's a charm. It feels great. The last two years we've played some close games in the semifinals and this year we finally played enough defense and played enough together to get over that hump and to go play in the sexual finals, which has been our dream for a while. It wasn't the prettiest semifinal game, but the kids really played hard and, and we knew going in that, that we had to stop their bigs and I thought, you know, Sully, Devon and, and a collective team effort really did a nice job. And the section championship game will be at Crookston on Thursday at 7 p.m. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.